On March 18, 2020, the Atlanta Hawks will host the Oklahoma City Thunder at State Farm Arena in Atlanta, Georgia. This season, the Atlanta Hawks have accumulated a record of 17 wins and 41 losses, but have gone a respectable 5-5 over their last 10 games, playing good basketball since the All-Star break. On the other hand, the Oklahoma City Thunder have stayed square in the playoff picture after losing franchise icon Russell Westbrook and perennial All-Star Paul George in free agency this offseason. Under head coach Billy Donovan, the Thunder have compiled a record of 35-22, and good enough for 6th place in the Western Conference. Although the Hawks have not played well as a team, point guard Trey Young has had a breakout campaign in his second season. He was named as an all-star starter for the Eastern Conference and is averaging 30 points and 9.2 assists, including a career-high 50 points against the Miami Heat on February 20th. The Thunder were expecting a bit of a rebuild after trading Westbrook and George in the offseason, but veteran point guard Chris Paul has taken leadership of the Young Thunder squad, averaging 17.5 points a game, and helping young stars like shooting guard Shea Gilgis Alexander or power forward Danilo Gallinari become stars. This will be the second and final meeting between these two teams this season. Although the outcome of the season will likely be different for these two teams, it promises to be an interesting and likely high scoring matchup between two up and coming teams in the NBA. Hi, I'm Ellie Geese, and I'm here with our new Athletes of the Week. First of all, congratulations to you all. Can you start by telling me your name, grade, and what sport you play? Uh, my name is Dorothy. I'm in 11th grade and do gymnastics. My name is Kieran. I'm a senior and I play soccer. Uh, I'm Pete Constantinidis. I'm a junior. I play baseball. I'm Ann Cook. I'm a sophomore and I play lacrosse. I'm Alexis Harris. I'm a sophomore and I play soccer. I'm Lila David. I'm a junior and I play tennis. I'm Jordan Parker. I'm in ninth grade and I went track. And what made you decide to play your sport at Chamblee? Uh, I always did competitive gymnastics, so I thought why not do it here too. Uh, I've always played it since I was young. Uh, both of my siblings play here, so I uh, you know, also played as well. Uh, I played baseball all my life, and I have friends that play, so why not? <laughs> I've been playing lacrosse my whole life, and my brother played, so yeah, it's natural. Uh, I really like soccer, so I just decided to play here too. Um, I was on the JV team in 8th grade, and I really liked it, so I figured I should play in high school too. Um, I've been running track for 10 years, so yeah. And what does your team do to create team spirit? Uh, well, my team has a lot of cheerleaders on it, so we're already just like cheering everyone on whenever we're learning new skills or trying new things. Uh, we like to make fun of each other to create team spirit. Uh, everyone's just super close, so we're always just having a good time talking it up. Uh, we celebrate really hard during games to hype each other up, and we go to lunch all the time after, or in dinner after games. We just spend like so much time together. We have like so many sleepovers, so yeah. Um, we like to spend time with each other like outside of practice or matches. Like we're planning on going to Stone Mountain soon, so. Uh, we have a motivation after track practice every single day and after our um, track meets. And what are you most looking forward to this season? Uh, the county meet. Uh, I'm looking forward to the Cross Keys game. Beating Southwest DeKalb. Um, hopefully making it to playoffs. Same, hopefully making it to playoffs. Hopefully getting far in playoffs. <laughs> um, state and region. Students, if you see any of these athletes, be sure to congratulate them. The Georgia Institute of Technology, commonly referred to as Georgia Tech, is a public research university located in Midtown Atlanta, Georgia. Requirements to be able to attend Georgia Tech is you have to have at least a GPA of 3.95. The tuition is $12,204 in-state and $32,396 out-of-state. Georgia Tech's main campus spans 400 wooded acres in the heart of Atlanta. The campus is comfortable, yet a stimulating living and learning environment, with virtually every amenity close at hand. Georgia Tech's graduation rate is 82% and has a 32% acceptance rate. If you're like most college-bound students, you have an image for what you want in a college experience. Excellent reputation, challenging academics, innovative programs, first-class facilities, stellar faculty, and an exciting campus environment. Georgia Tech is a school that is known for its excellence and a school with very many successful students. Georgia Tech is a university that can make you successful in life. Give it a try. Spring is just around the corner. 
and with that comes constant coughing and sneezing. People are tired of having to miss school and miss work all because their body can't handle the seasons. So here are a few tips to try and keep yourself healthy for this upcoming season. The first tip is to Lysol everything. Lysol is great for disinfecting things and it is so easy to do so. A few times a month, I would advise you to spray the beds, doorknobs, handles, cabinets, etc. My second tip would be to start using essential oils. Essential oils have been proven to relieve stress, cleanse the air, and simply make your environment more welcoming. Diffusers range from $20 to $100, and it's really worth the money. My third tip would be to clean, clean, and clean. This is the most beneficial tip there is because sickness comes from germs. So after someone gets in the shower, spray some antibacterial spray and wait to get in. Clean your phone, phone case, counters, and anything that you touch repeatedly. My fourth tip would be to stay indoors during the mornings when pollen is an, at an all-time high. And to also, when you go back in, to wash your body because pollen sticks everywhere, into everything. Last but not least, get some nasal spray. Nasal spray can actually be very beneficial. Some people say get it before allergy season starts, which makes sense, but it's all up to you and what you want for your body.